welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we got uh action figure surgery we're back with action figure surgery and i think we got a pretty good episode here today for you guys really excited for it we got the ultimate edition rick flair and stone cold steve austin we got the new top talents roman reigns as well as john cena we got some good stuff going on here today man and i'm pretty excited for it so what we're gonna do is break everything down we got some cool fix-ups and swippages and swappages to get into with you and i'm excited for it man so diving into it man we're gonna we got a lot of stuff going on today man we got we got scissors we got exacto knives we got uh, a cup of ice water i mean we got a lot of stuff going on over here of course those things are off screen but i had to let you know that uh, that they are there so be alert be alert so diving straight into it guys let's go ahead and get into the surgery that i'd like to conduct here today a lot of stuff going on. Some of it's not even right in my brain just yet, so if I mess something up or if I, you know, don't know exactly what I'm doing, like, I kind of get confused. There was a lot of, like, different things that I wanted to do that I had, you know, ready to go, and then I kind of got sidetracked a little bit, so forgive me if it gets a little off kilter, but I will get back on track. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. First off, we do have the Ric Flair right here, and what I want to do with this Ric Flair is I think I just want to do, like, I don't, I don't want to do anything nutty or crazy, I don't think, just yet. Like, maybe one day I'll take these boots and put them on somebody or these knee pads or I don't know you know you never know what the future holds but I think for today I do want to head swap it with this Ric Flair so I think this would be a really nice fix up for some reason I love this head sculpt I think the likeness is a lot better than the smiley head sculpt and I think the woo head sculpt would look really good on the retro fest figure over here so I think that would be a really dope fix up I kind of just want to see what that would look like and the smiling head sculpt that we have for Ric Flair you know the one that it came on out of the packaging I think I may uh I may make that into a custom Jeremy Padauer, man. I may I may actually do that. So we'll see about that. We'll see what comes of it. But I like uh, I like the way this Ric Flair looks. I think this is a good head swap right here. That is something we are going to do today. Really simple stuff. Nothing too immaculate, but I think that will be a nice fix up. Next up, guys, we do have a lot of stuff going on here. Let's get into the Matt Jacksons. We're going to do a little three-way deal with the uh, with these different Matt Jacksons. So we have the Series 1, we have the Series 3, and we have the Series 1B or version 2 that we're going to work on. So we will do a little exchange right here. Should be really sick. I think this will be a really nice fix up. You guys will see what I'm doing with these three. And it's going to be kind of like a musical chairs act with these. But I think that will be pretty sick once you guys see exactly what we're talking about. All right, next up, guys, we do have a really nice, this is going to be beautiful. This is going to be a really nice John Cena fix up right here. You guys know that we do have the top talents right here. But I am, not, I, like, I hate this head sculpt. I think this head sculpt is just, just God, just look at it. Are you looking at it? It just looks God awful right what we're gonna do is remove this head and we're going to put this jacks john cena head sculpt on here this is one of my boy jesus's favorite john cena heads ever i think it is his favorite one ever we're gonna put this on here and then we're going to put the hat on there and then i'm gonna put him up on my shelf so we're gonna give him the crooked hat also this hat's like massive for this head like i don't know it just doesn't sit right on there if this comes to retail hopefully i mean if it comes to retail there's gonna be like 80 of these at retail hopefully i will be buying multiples of these for the shirts for the for the hats for different fix-ups and stuff so we will take care of that but that is another fix up I'd like to do with the word life top talents John Cena figure we got more going on I know we got a lot of Steve Austin's we got Roman Reigns as well let's get into the Roman Reigns and then I'll dive into the Stone Cold Steve Austin's and what exactly I'm thinking and all that so for the Roman Reigns figure man I am going to be turning it into kind of like a promo gear Roman again so what I'm thinking is I'm going to take his wreck everyone and leave t-shirt right here we're going to cut the sleeves off to make a sleeveless shirt we're going to remove the gauntlets replace this hand with a with a skin tone hand and then we're going to replace the head with the ponytail head sculpt to give us like a man bun sleeveless gauntletless sort of promo gear Roman Reigns I think that'll be pretty sick so that'll be a cool little fix up again I have the regular version I have my you know my heel I have a lot of Roman Reigns man so I want to change them up every single time that way you know you don't have the same figure twice so that will be a cool Roman Reigns fix up that we do with the top talents version the elite 84 re-release and last but not least guys we have a ton of like Austin's okay so this is uh this is gonna be a crazy Frankenstein effort, but just stick with me for a second. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and dive in. So the first Austin that we have is this defining moment, Stone Cold, but I want to replace this shirt because this shirt is kind of, you know, it's kind of flazzled, right? It's kind of razzle-dazzle. I'm trying to make like a 97, 98 kind of era of Austin. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop these arms off and we're going to replace the biceps with the biceps right here. So these bigger biceps, that way when we put this on here, first of all, 
these arms look way better for Stone Cold. It just makes him look more like Stone Cold, if you will. If we put these biceps on this Austin figure, put the regular shirt on here, it will be tight to the biceps. It'll have no Velcro on it. And we're going to add the gold chain right there. I think we're going to add the gold chain. I may add the gold chain to a different Austin, but we'll see. I think that would be pretty dope right there, though. So that is something I want to do. I think that will make that one look really badass. But you guys will also notice we have a lot of Austins. So let's go ahead and get into the rest of them. All right, let's bring them forward here and get them all in position because we got some stuff going on. All right. Again, stay with me here. Don't lose track. Don't lose track. All right. So I tried to play with the idea of switching out the biceps with the Austin. The only big biceps that you can put on this Ultimate Edition Austin are Brock Lesnar arms. Unless you used some sort of AEW figure. But the AEW figures are pretty much small anyways. So unless we switch to single jointed arms or we came back to that at a later date, I don't think we really have an option right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this right brace from this Austin. Put this right brace onto the Ultimate Edition because I like, I, I want this version to be kind of a, you know, a two braced Austin. Then with this one brace, I'm going to remove this vest and put on this vest that came with the Ultimate Edition. So this will go over here. From there, we will be switching the arms on this vest Austin to fit. We're going to put these arms on this vest Austin to give him the bigger arms and the better like in ring kind of style with the one knee brace with the switched out uh, Stone Cold vest because this vest will be accurate there. Then we're going to put this vest over on this Austin. I know it's a lot. It's a lot. And you probably have already lost me. But another thing I wanted to do is also I wanted to put this laughing head sculpt on the pants Austin. So there's just a, there's, there's a lot of stuff. You guys will probably understand it as we go. I also have a lot more of those arms but we're going to have to fix up those Stone Colds on another day because it really is going to bring them all together. But I told you it was kind of a lot. I was still trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do and it's kind of all convoluted. If I had my Royal Rumble Austins, it would also help me because I wanted to put one of the gold vests, I think, on the Ultimate Edition. But I don't know. Let, let's just dive into the surgery and shut the hell up before I have a conniption. My bad. That was what I was going to do. I'm going to... The, the cup of ice water. The reason I need the cup of ice water is we're going to make these hands into middle finger hands. So we're going to cut these with the X-Acto knife, heat them up, cut them with the X-Acto knife, and I'm going to show you guys how to make middle finger hands for your Stone Cold Steve Austin. So that's what I... That, I knew there was something else that I was leaving out, but damn, man, these arms are skinny. I really wish we had some bulkier arms, but yeah, there you go. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. All right, guys, so our first order of business, I think, is going to be the Young Bucks Matt Jackson fix-up. So I think this is probably our best bet. Let me go ahead and raise this up a little bit. I think this is probably where uh, just the easiest part of our day is going to come from. So, I mean, you could easily mess it up, but I think this is the way we're going to do it. All right, so this is the version 2. You guys will probably notice these are different skin tones, right? So if we pop this head off of this... We pop that head off of the version, or the Series 3, put that over there. We go over here, pop this head off of the uh, Series 1A, and then we pop the version 2 head off of that figure. We can put the Series 1 version 2 head onto the Series 3. Gives that accurate skin tone, looks really clean, looks way better. We can put the ugly yelling head sculpt onto the Series 1 version 2. It's still ugly, but at least it matches a little bit in skin tone, and it gives us a little bit of a different look there. Not the greatest, but, you know, we'll take it. And then we can put the pale head back on our 1A figure, and bam, there we go. Now all three of the mats are fixed. Not Nothing too crazy, but I definitely wanted to do that here today. So now that we've done that, we can move on to our next business. Now our next business is going to be the Ric Flair. Flair. Now, the Ric Flair Ultimate Edition, we don't need to heat this head up. You could just pop it on any body. So, we're going to put that back there for now. And uh, the Ultimate Edition, I guess, can kind of chill back here. This, however, when you're heating up head sculpts or anything, I always recommend to take off all your cloth accessories. You don't need to have all this going on, man. You'll ruin your cloth accessories. You'll ruin your rubber accessories. You'll just F it all up real good. So, you don't want to F it up all real good. Get it rid of it and uh, get him in position ready to go. See, this guy's on ball joints. Why couldn't the Ultimate Edition be, huh? Huh? Alright, so there we go. We got our Rick Flair ready for surgery right there. Trusty Red, Trusty Red, throwing me off, Rick. Trusty White Hair Dryer is in position. Not only are we going to be doing this, but since we're doing head swaps, we may as well bring John Cena in here. So you guys know we are heating up this Jax head sculpt, so we'll go ahead and get that in there. And then on top of that, we gotta heat up this head sculpt. Now, again, remove your necklace, get it over here. Ah, I really don't wanna heat up this, uh, really don't wanna have to take the shirt off and all that, but I think we have no, we have no choice, man. So right 
there and there. And then we're going to stick him right there. All right, got that. Roman Reigns head sculpt is already switchable. And I guess we can go ahead and heat up this Austin. And we'll go ahead and remove this shirt. And we'll go ahead and do this. Huh. Yeah. God, that body's all old and dirty. Hate to see it. All right. We'll go here because we're putting that smiley ultimate edition onto that Austin. So this should work out pretty good. Now this shirt's all flaily whaley. We'll put this on a different, sh we'll put this on a dis different figure. We may even put this on that Austin back there in the shorts at the end, maybe just to give us like a little bit of a different look until I can get more ultimate editions or whatever the case is. But let's go ahead and heat this ish up and we'll see what we got. All right, guys, let's see what we got going on here. First of all, let's go ahead and see if we can get the John Cena head sculpt off. All right, we got that one. Should we go ahead and just try to pop the ja the Jax version on here real quick? If uh... All right, there we go. Got that on there. That's pretty nice there. All right, we're going to pop off the Austin head. God in heaven, that's hot. All right, I'm just going to pop these arms off for now. Why do they have that weird thing like that? Are the biceps even going to go on there, man? Like, I swear to God, those biceps better... Oh, uh, dude, if that doesn't work, I'm gonna, I'm just going to have to lose, lose my damn mind, bro. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. All right, so this head sculpt for Rick. Popping that over there. And then get the ultimate edition. Plop this onto here like so, and then plop the woo onto the retro fest, and bam, now we got some Ric Flair fix-ups. Pretty nice to see. All right, next up are John Cena. Now we have to put the shirt back on here. Piece of shish. All right, got the shirt on there. Velcro the shirt up, and then word life chain, and then hat. Oh yeah, that's the business. Oh Christ. Somewhere Jesus is feeling this. I know he's feeling that one, Brad. You got a little something special going on there, young man. All right, next. All right, I mean, I guess we can go ahead and plop the smiley head sculpt on here and just kind of see if it'll fit this peg and all that good jazz you know you don't want any weirdness Urgh. okay that's that's fire as hell okay that's gonna work out terrific all right now the only thing that we have a question about with this stone cold is not the head sculpt being dumb because that looks delicious this is delicious all we have to do now is we have to heat up these arms and we have to heat up the other arms but on top of that we have other ish to we have other fish to fry of course we gotta switch these biceps onto those lower arms, which is gonna just cause me so much just anxiety. But gotta do it, man, gotta do it. So there is that. We're gonna try and switch that. But on top of that, we also have to do some other things. All right, the other things that we have to do is remove this vest from this Austin. So let's go ahead and zoom back out, you idiot. Remove the vest from this Austin because we got to switch on the bigger arms to this Austin with the black wrist tape, right? So we have these that we want to plop on there to give him that bigger arm look like I said. So we're going to heat these up as well. Just a stack of arms over here. That vest is off over there, so that's good. So it won't get warped or whatever. Uh... Okay, yeah, we also need to take this brace off. We're going to take this brace off of the Elite. I want to say this is the All-Star. This may not be the All-Stars, though. This may be the Defining Moments. I don't know. I have a lot of Austin figures, you know. He's one of my favorites of all time, definitely. Top three, probably. So there is the one knee brace. That's what we wanted. We do have to remove these arms, though. So we're going to put his arms up and put him right here. So again, just a stack of arms, getting all the heat, all that good stuff. Put this knee brace onto the Ultimate Edition. They are the same same exact mold they're just opposite sides this is a right knee brace they actually are specific so don't get it twisted plop that there slide it up the leg over the elbow pad that's a knee pad you dumb idiot moron all right now our ultimate edition is double braced like we wanted i need to just g use a sharpie pen or something and make all the all the austin you know knee braces that i want all right we're not done with that austin we're not done with the ultimate edition because we still got to make the middle finger hands but we we gotta heal these arms up, do the swippages and swappages, and then put this vest onto that Stone Cold. Put the t-shirt, switch the, get the, just shut the hell up and heat it up, you, you idiot.
All right, guys, let's see what the hell's going on. Somebody's mowing the lawn outside, making me sick. All right, so we're going to plop this arm off. So I guess every Stone Cold Steve Austin has this little peg iffy at the bottom right there. So that's just, I mean, that's just brilliant, you know? That's just brilliant, like JBL likes to say in the MDT intro. So we're going to pop the large arms onto the Stone Cold. Okay, so they do fit, so that's not a, you know, I don't have to launch myself off of a bridge. So that's good. They are going to fit on there, I think. I may have to cut them down. We'll have to see. What? Is, what? Oh, I, I put the wrong ones on there. I was about to, was about to lose it. All right. Oh, God. All right, now that we got this on here, now we can put this vest onto this Austin. The arms are all loosey-goosey as hell. Why am I doing this now? I don't need to do this right now. I need to switch the bicep and the, uh, yeah, you get the point. All right, pop that there, plop this off here. God, there's just so many little finagles, man. All right, got our biceps ready. Now we got to get our lower arms ready. That's not even hot enough. I'm just losing my mind. Dude, I got so much fodder. I could give some away and still have more than I could use. It goes there. All right, these are our forearms to our Austin. Now, I will say I do like these forearms better. Like the, you know, the muscular arms look better to me. You see what I'm saying? Like, better? However, well, you're probably wondering, MDT, why don't you just slide this arm onto the Austin? Well, Brad, the opposite one has has white wrist tape, which would mean I'd have to acetone that off, pop that hand out, pop another hand in, which would be, I guess, one of these arms or hands, which I guess is the biggest deal. Hmm, Christ. I've already come this far, man. That's why I'm saying we'll, we'll do it on another surgery or an appointment. We'll fix up more Austins because I got more Austins to fix up. Why? 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 Actually, you know what? Just heat up this portion. Heat up this portion and keep the other solid. And while that's happening, I'm going to chop off these little pegsies. All right, guys, let's see what we got going on. Hopefully, besides the interchangeable hands or the, you know, the middle finger hands that we have to make, hopefully that will be the last time we have to use the hair dryer. But I don't know because my freaking hands are about to fall off trying to touch this. I don't even know how I'm supposed to hold this arm right here. Oh, my God in heaven. The only way was to use my sweatshirt to, like, hold it. And then now I gotta press this through somehow. I don't even know if I can get it on camera, bro. This is how s just freaking ridiculous. Probably need to invest in some sort of in s some sort of hand protector, aka gloves. Gloves. All right, I got that one on there, and you guys can kind of see how that's gonna look. Let's go ahead and plop this one arm on here. Oh, never mind. I didn't heat that part of it up. What a dumb idiot. But it went on somehow. I don't know. Let's try to see if we can get this on here. I'll try to get this one on on camera. Uh, all right. I'm definitely doing better than last time. Jeez. Got to fix up harder than last time. Got to fix up better than last time. Every time. Got to improve every time. Uh, nothing more stressful than switching biceps to other, to other arms, man. It's always a process. Always. All right, I got it, you piece of whore. All right, now, now we can put our shirt on this Austin. This should look pretty damn fire. It's maybe my favorite fix-up all day. It's looking pretty damn... I like that bicep with that forearm. It doesn't look bad. You got a little something special going on there, young man. All right, now for the shirt. Now for the shirt. God in heaven. Guess this was supposed to go on a double jointed figure, huh? Dude, look how fire. Oh, man, that is super sick, nasty farticles. Put the necklace on there. Necklace or no necklace, really doesn't matter. Looks fire either way. Oh, God. If we had an earring, oh, God. We'll take a closer look at that at the end, bro, but that turned out exactly how I want it. Hell yes. All right. Next up, we got three less figures left. There are three more figures left. This one, easy. All you gotta do is pop the vest off. Oh my God, fidget spinner waist makes me sick. Anyways, they need to give us a Stone Cold Steve Austin on ball joints with this shorts mold with thigh cut in black shorts. Re-release the jeans with different shirt accessories or, you know, a different look or the baseball jersey, something. We need more Austins. However, give us black shorts too. We need a black shorts version. That is all. All right, now 
we could put the defining moments Austin 316 shirt on here. I'm pretty, I, I feel like I have a, a one, you know, one in better condition than this, but you know, the sleeves are all loosey goosey. The freaking arms are small, you know, so there's just a lot going on, man. But there we go. There's another Austin fix up. We'll do the interchangeable hands last since we have this Roman right here. Now, again, very simple stuff. All we're going to do is pop off the long haired head sculpt for Roman. We're going to pop the hands out, take the gauntlets off, just like so. Put back on the fist, the bare fist, for the right hand. And I had this. I don't even know where this is from. I don't know if it's from a Roman or what. But there you go. Now you have a base Roman there. Then all you got to do is take your Wreck Everyone and Leaf shirt, your scissors, cut the sleeves off. I recommend probably getting someone to hold the other side, whether it's your wife, your girlfriend, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your son. Get someone to hold the other side so that you can cut it cleaner than I just did. But it's not, it's not a bad cut. Not a bad cut whatsoever. All right, now we're going to flip it and then cut this side. Look, now you got headbands for your figures, and you can take your Rick Everyone and Leave shirt, undo it there, put it onto the Roman, Velcro it up, boom, bam, pap, cat feud, plop on the head, and bam. Promo gear, workout, whatever the hell you want to call, Roman Reigns, Wreck Everyone and Leave, ponytail head sculpt, no gauntlets, no gloves. He doesn't have joggers on, but they're basically joggers with his, you know, his style boots, and boom. How beautiful. We'll take a closer look at that at the end. Tons of figures on this episode, man. Like, so many things to look at at the end. It's absolutely insane. Now, finally, we can get into our ultimate edition. All right, so we're going to make middle finger hands. Things you will need to make the middle finger hands, Brad. Ice water, which is right here. It's melted and the cup's getting soggy. Hope to God it holds up. What you're going to do is you're going to plop this out. Take out the hands you want to use. I recommend using either probably the Finn Balor mold, you know, with the entrance hands, like the you can't see me hand, or like the mic holding. I think mic holding would probably be the best. But what you're going to do first is you're going to heat these hands up. Again, you need ice water, you need an X-Acto knife, and a hair dryer. Trusty white hair dryer to be exact, so... Good luck doing it with any other one. But if you are under the age of 18, get somebody to help you so you don't slice your hand. I've done it many times and it sucks eggs. We're gonna heat these up, use our X-Acto knife, put it in ice water and have middle finger hands for Stone Cold. Here we go. They're gonna blow away, aren't they? Yeah, we knew it. I don't, I don't. Oh my Jesus. Sweet Lord in heaven, man. I mean, what is happening? Why does that one not move? Maybe I should put this one in the same position. All right, I don't think it should take that much heat, so what we're gonna do is do that. All right, now we're going to zoom in here because the next part is super important. What you're going to do is you're going to take your hand and you're going to cut along the seam. I just noticed these are taped finger hands. Are you serious, Brad? Anyways, point still stands. What you'll do is you're going to cut right here in this seam of the finger so that you're, se you're going to separate the middle finger. So you're going to cut down the seam between the index finger and the middle finger, just like so. And then between the ring finger and the middle finger as well. Now there may be like a little bit of access or whatever, your excess, and you can like cut that off later or after you cut this, but just be careful. Jesus, go really slow. Again, if you're, I'd say under 18, man, get somebody to help you or at least supervise, just like so. All right, now, it is pretty much good. What we're gonna do is it's not really as hot as I would like, to be honest with you, but close that down, lift the finger up like that. Again, cup of ice water. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your fingers, the thumb usually goes over the over the index finger there. You're going to hold it in position that you want, and then the best thing to do is not really ice water, I'd say, like run it under a sink would probably be better but this is what we got to deal with so we're just gonna have to build a bridge hold it under there for maybe 15 seconds or so and bam 
I mean, there's little water droplets on it, and it could probably be cleaner, but yeah, you guys can see that little skin right there. I'll, I'll, I'll shave that off so it looks cleaner, but middle finger hand for Stone Cold, baby, yeah. All right, guys, let's take a look at everything we've done here today on Action Figure Surgery. All right, guys, here's everything that we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery, and I like it, man. I think we had a really productive day, really excited for the way everything came out. Let's go ahead and dive into the first thing, which is Matt Jackson. Nothing too exciting with it, you know. Again, we just put the Series 3 on the Series 1 version 2 there. So you have that Matt Jackson. You have me uh, going back to the 1A version to fix him back up, and then we have the Series 3 that does not have the painted head sculpt anymore. It's got the 1B head sculpt, and that is just so much better than the Series 3 head sculpt that it is just crazy. Hopefully, it gets improved upon with their Series 7 figures. But next up, guys, we do have John Cena right here. This came out amazing. I'm really happy with the way that came out. This head sculpt is great for this time period. It looks amazing. I'm really happy with the way this came out. The hat fits way better. It just looks way more official. He's got his, his hands, everything about it. Literally, the only thing that I would say is maybe double jointed arms and butterfly joints on this guy. Maybe that could be an ultimate edition that we fix up or something, but this looks sick AF. Really proud of the way that John Cena came out. Couldn't be any more happy with the way he turned out. Not only that, guys, I feel like the rest of our fix-ups really turned out amazing. Like, I'm really happy with all of them. Ric Flair here. This is the Retro Fest head sculpt onto the Ultimate Edition. I just like it, man. I like this way more than the smiley head sculpt that we got. See, like, here's the difference there. I just like this likeness. It just looks better for me. It looks more like Flair. The head is not as massive, I guess. I don't know. I just like the way that looks. You guys can let me know what you think of that down below. As well as well as the Woo head sculpt on the Retro Fest. Here's the Retro Fest with the wooing head sculpt. That turned out great, too. So I'm really happy with that. Usually not really fixing up on the Ric Flair figures, but there we go. We got two of them today, and that looks excellent. Next up is our Roman Reigns. This turned out great as well. Again, not super complicated, man. Again, if I had a bit, you know, a thicker beard, better hair design and paint and all that would be better, but for what we get straight up from Mattel, this is pretty damn good, man. You got the tattoo there, no gauntlets, sleeveless shirt cut went, you know, could it have been cleaner? Maybe. Still really nice, like the way it turned out and everything like that. Man bun, Roman Reigns looks like an absolute beast. The Tribal Chief looks clean, so that turned out great. Let me know what you guys think of the Roman Reigns. And last but not least, guys, we do have our Stone Cold Steve Austin fix-ups from our Ultimate Edition. Now, this one turned out immaculate. Really happy with the way this turned out. The biceps fell off the shirt. No, you know, no Velcro. Has the chain on there. The smiley, you know, sarcastic smile head is so cool on there. We need, again, man, it's the head shape. This head shape makes it look more like Austin because of his head shape. This is more accurate of a head shape, so the likeness ties it in better. Of course, you have true effects and stuff, but this Austin right here looks amazing with the bigger arms and the Austin 316 and the jeans. This is sick AF. Probably one of the better Austin's in my collection now. Here's the bigger arms right there. I honestly think these forearms with the big arms look better maybe, but this is still a cool fix up. I could always switch out the forearms for other Austin forearms that are smaller anytime I want, but this looks good. Fits the era, everything like that. The vest from the Ultimate Edition looks good on there. Here's our other Austin 316 fix up, which is eh, you know, it's not the best ever because the shirt's kind of crabby and stuff, but it'll definitely do on the shelf. And last but not least, guys, we have our Ultimate Edition middle finger fix up and there it comes. Dude, look at that. That looks just like Stone Cold. That is so crazy. Again, bigger arms probably would be better, but the middle finger's there with the pissed off expression. We need more of this head sculpt. I need a hundred of them. I want, you know, a new head shape like this. If you morph these two together and gave this head sculpt, this head shape, and the true effects and everything, it would be perfect. Again, they kept that same head shape for that head sculpt, and that's what kind of messed it up. So see, here's the one that came with the Ultimate Edition, but if they changed the head shape, shape and gave him the true effects like they kind of did the true effects a little bit but it's not the same because the head shape is just all out of whack but this Austin looks amazing there's the middle finger hands right there if you guys want to see it with the double braces still waiting on some more vests to fix him up completely but that is going to do it for our full action figure surgery episode man really enjoyed today's episode lots of great work let's get into a random shout out before we get out of here and our shout out is going to go to sponge hub who says daily reminder to not cross that line like wwe just did regarding our releases from yesterday if you guys want my reaction to the braun Strowman release and the Alistair Black release and the Buddy Murphy and the Lana and all that. Definitely go check that out. We covered that on the channel yesterday and I just wanted to put up a reaction video to that to let you guys know what my thoughts were about all of it. But a huge shout out to SpongeHub for the comment yesterday. Huge shout out to them. I think we've shouted them out before there. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Let me know what you thought of surgery down in the comment section below. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't cross the line like, uh, I don't know. Who crossed the line here today? The head shape. The damn head shape on the old uh, 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 Austin hat.